In this lesson, I will explain to you Euclidean distance and Manhattan distance. So here I have written some information for you. First, I will prove the Euclidean distance with the help of Pythagoras theorem. Then I will read it. It will be much more clear to you. If you want to find out the distance between the points, then you have to find. Then you have to use these Euclidean distance formula or the Manhattan distance. First, we will discuss the Euclidean distance, which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square if we have only two coordinates x and y right so what is the meaning of x and y x1 y2 i will here give you a quick example then it will be much more clear suppose we have two coordinates this is our x this is our y we want to find out the distance between two points so you know that if we want to draw a line at least we need two points suppose i am taking one point here one point here so how i said this point suppose this is two on x axis three on y axis so its coordinates is this point coordinates are two and three two will be x1 this is y1 similarly suppose if i will say eight and ten so this is x2 and y2 and always keep in mind that you have to write down x first and then y right so this is my source point this is my destination point i want my goal is that i have to start from here and reach here i want to find out the distance between these two points and you know that if the distance between two points increases the similarity decreases right which i will explain this concept in uh, cosine similarity in my next video so this one this is my b point these distance we have to find out from a to c right so i will prove this formula with the help of pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem says ac square which is our hypotenuse from source to destination is equal to ab from here and then from b to c ab square plus bc square this is the pythagoras theorem or simply we can say ac is equal to then we have to take the root of these two now the question is what is bc and what is ab this is ab right suppose if i make the projection here from a and b on the x axis this is my x1 this is my x2 so from here to here the distance is x2 minus x1 so instead of this ab i can write down x2 minus x1 whole square similarly for bc if i will make the projection on y axis and from c here this will be my y1 and y2 so bc the distance between bc will be y2 minus y1 so instead of bc i can write down so c this is exactly the euclidean distance and this one is if we have only two coordinates if we have three coordinates so it will be x1 y1 z1 and here x2 y2 z2 and then we can have one more number here so here you can write down plus z2 minus z2 minus z1 whole square right if we have three coordinates now i can read this that euclidean distance is the shortest path between source and destination see this is the shortest path from source this is source and this destination which is a straight line i hope the concept of euclidean distance is clear and i have also proved with the help of pythagoras theorem now we will move on to the manhattan distance so here again suppose we have two coordinates x and y same thing one point i will take from here one point this is my two points a b and c same our goal is that from a to c we have to reach from a to c we have to find out but in manhattan distance we cannot calculate or we cannot go directly from a to c we have to go from a to b first and then b to c right and what is the formula the formula is x2 minus x1 plus absolute term y2 minus y1 now again the question is from where i have written x2 minus x1 see here this is 
a b if i will make the projection here so similarly this is x2 this is y1 the projection on x axis distance between a b is x2 minus x1 and if i will make the projection of b c on y axis so this is y2 this is y1 and these are the absolute terms absolute terms means if our answer will be in negative suppose this is 4 this is minus 8 so definitely the answer will be minus 4 but we have to consider positive that is why we have to use absolute term so now i'm going to read it that manhattan distance is the sum of all real distances between source and destinations real distances that we have to go from a to b then b to c and each distance are always a straight line so i hope the concept is clear now please practice it subscribe like share my channel and thanks for watching